Hardman abroad, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, and I'm here live and direct in Barcelona. Yes, people, these are my first glimpses of Barcelona. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this thumbnail. Thank you for joining me once again. Yeah, man, Yardman abroad, you don't know. This time we're in Barcelona. I just came up from the underground and walking through the city you now trying to locate my hotel. Um, yeah, looking nice so far. This place reminds me of Paris. Yeah, look at this. I don't know, there's something about the architecture that very much remind me of Paris is this here's my turn I just had that thing when you, you know when you think you lost something I thought I lost my phone there for a second Okay, so I got my location again. Let's go. I'm not trying to get run over as usual. Y'all know me walking out in front of cars and everything. What side of the road do they drive on over here? Okay, yep, they drive on the wrong side of the road as well. If you're wondering what side that is, it's the right side. <laughs> but yes people welcome back to the channel you know you don't know it's Yardman abroad and I'm here in Barcelona for a few days so I'm gonna show you guys around and see what's new and interesting about this place great start lovely weather obviously man is coming from London and when I left London about two and a half to three hours ago, it was raining cats and dogs, as they say in England. So, yeah, already that's a good look. Don't know. When you're in London, you have to leave every now and then to come get that vi vitamin D, you get me? To soak up that vitamin D. So, yeah, man, liking the place already. Yes, hello, hey man, friendly locals, <laughs> just got a wave, I love when I go to new places, you know, and people just welcome me, man, friendly, I like that, I like it, the camera wasn't on him, but he waved, didn't he, he thought the camera was on him, yes people, Yardman abroad, I'm out here again, more life, more flights, that may I say, welcome back, listen, it's my first day here, so like, share, comment, subscribe, you know, just to see the rest of my adventures that I get to get up to over here. So yeah, man. Barcelona. Yeah, this is very Parisian. It's very Paris, Parisesque. I'm making up words here. But um, yeah. I know you guys don't want to see my face taking what I'm seeing right now. Okay, so I'm just walking to my hotel right now, guys. I'm gonna go get checked in. So yeah, this is me, my first video, just arriving in Barcelona. It's my first time on, or in mainland Spain. Let me change on. I've been on Spanish territory before, but I've never been, you know, in mainland Spain. When I say Spanish territory, I mean Ibiza. So I've been to Ibiza. But um, you know, Ibiza is like a 
little island so now we are on the mainland of Spain so yeah man It was quite straightforward getting here actually um from the from the airport got on the underground or the metro as they call it over here and I only paid something like what 10 euros for a ticket and uh, to get down this side but um yeah quite cheap very reasonable And it's quite easy navigating the underground as well. I think I'm in quite a central location around here. Yeah, so it's quite easy navigating the underground. Um, that was pretty straightforward. I actually had the the choice of taking um, the of taking like a, a, a tran getting a transfer service from the airport, but I choose not to do that because I just wanted to get on the underground get into the city and you know and yeah start interacting and start seeing things immediately you know when you get into the car it doesn't give you the full vibes of you know arriving in a new city you know they take you from the hotel straight to no from not from the hotel they take you from the airport straight to your to your hotel and you don't really get the full vibes so I deliberately choose to take the metro you know just to just to mingle you know that's when you find or discover new things if you just come and go straight into you know a taxi and go to the hotel you know it kind of delayed the discovery process a little bit so yeah man i like i like that you know? so this i just come and start you know get into coming to terms with the city straight away but yes people I'm about to go walk up into my hotel and check in actually I can't even check in I'm basically just going there to leave my my suitcase to be honest because I can't check in until three o'clock um, I did arrive a bit early and I told them to let me check in early and they were like no we, they can't allow that so I'm just gonna come drop my suitcase and just let them know that I'm here and just head, up, head back out into the city so yes people welcome back to the channel it's your boy Yardman Abroad and you don't know showing you yeah just gonna take you on my adventures in Barcelona welcome to Barcelona yeah so far I'm liking this area it seems quite central I got a lot of bars, restaurants, stuff like that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy being here. It seems like a convenient um, location. Train station not too far away. Um, I've seen a lot of um, shops, you know, grocery stores. You can pick up your water or whatever necessities you want. So yeah, I'm liking this place here already. Welcome to Barcelona, guys. Yes, people, just arrived at the hotel now, and yeah, this is the room. Boom, got nice big cupboards right here, nice big bed, which was unexpected because I was expecting a single bed. Um, got a nice sofa over here, nice big room. Yeah, a lot of space in there. Got a little work desk right there. That's gonna come in handy. Nice TV up on the wall. Yeah, man. This is good. Travel tip number one, guys. Travel tip. Whenever you turn up at a new location, whenever you turn up at a hotel, yeah, get your camera out if you have one. Get your tripod out if you have one and start blogging, right? <laughs> Trust me, they, they treat you a little bit different. 
sometimes yeah the hotel they treat you a little bit different you know because obviously you got your camera out and you are speaking you know and and the things that you see so you know they might bump you up like for example this room here like i said i only booked a single bed they gave me a big double bed right there you know apparently this is the executive suite yes yeah, so they bumped me up to the executive suite um i don't know if it's looking very executive though but apparently this is the executive suite <laughs> so yeah man or maybe they're just good maybe they're just good you know they got a balcony got a nice balcony here maybe the guy is actually doing his job and you know doing an amazing job but yeah the balcony kind of tiny out here I don't even know if you're supposed to be standing out here but yeah these are the views from the balcony yeah man looks great I think I'm in like a very central location like I said before guys you can see there's a lot of bars a lot of restaurants a little coffee shop down there um, which is cool because I didn't include breakfast in this booking so I'm going to be, you know, using these little um, coffee shops for my breakfast so yeah, nice, nice big room and I'm gonna be here for a few days so uh, nice and comfortable, let me see the toilet that's one thing I haven't checked yet let me see what the toilet is saying hopefully the toilet is nice hey, hold on, let's put the lights Oh, you have to put the card in. Still haven't done that yet. All right, all right. I put the card in. Put the card in right there. Boom. Okay, we got lights. So the toilet. All right. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes, man. Yeah, I can definitely work with this. Nice and it's clean as well. Don't know. Place of a clean and fresh. Place of a clean and fresh. Yeah, man. This is nice. Can definitely work with this. So, yeah, man. I appreciate the hotel for bumping me up to the executive suite. You guys, tell me what you think. Is this place looking executive? Let me come over here. The light is a bit better. Is this place looking executive to you guys? You know, it's nice and big. I appreciate that because, you know, I originally booked a smaller room. So, yeah. I am about to go explore. So, yo, like, share, subscribe. You know, let me know what you guys thinking in the comments. If you have your own travel tips that can get you um, free stuff when you're traveling, let me know. You know, so I can go get some free stuff as well. <laughs> Guys, traveling is not cheap. Actually, let's talk about that. Now, this trip was, was actually, I would say this trip was quite cheap. It was very cheap. For the hotel, I paid something like um, 190, 190 pounds. Wait, what's up with the light? Yeah. So I paid like 190 pounds for the hotel, um, which is not bad for like three nights. And um, for the flight, the flight was about, well, the flight was 70 pounds. So, yeah guys, traveling do not have to be expensive, you know? Yeah, so the flight was £70. And I was quite happy with that price, to be honest. But, a little bit of a spanner was thrown into the woodworks, guys. Because I was quite happy with those prices, you know? Um, I was like, yeah, great price, great price. But then, because the trains wasn't working... Um, to get to Stansted in London, I had to, you know, come by via a taxi and that was like £60 So the taxi from my home to the airport was £60 and the flight Which is a return flight was £70 So yeah, that kind of, you know, throw things off a little bit 
but yeah um if it wasn't for that little issue i would be able to come to the airport for about um 20 pounds you know the train from um uh, Tottenham ale to stansted is like 20 pounds you know so if i didn't have to you know pay the taxi for 60 pounds i'll be i'll be very happy with myself you know um for the for how much i've paid for the entirety for the hotel and for the flight um coming from the the airport to my location via the metro that was only like 10 euros so that's not bad at all um so yeah guys traveling do not always have to be expensive but with that said i haven't done anything yet so I haven't, you know, I want to visit like the museum, I want to go to the, to the stadium, I want to go up to the, I don't even remember what it's called, but there's this place in Barcelona where you get an amazing view of the city. I want to go check that out. Um, and I don't know how much all that is going to cost. Um, I still don't know how expensive you know food is and stuff like that and travel is in the city but those are things to find out in you know in, in the next couple of days so yes guys but for now for now things have been very cheap you know and um yeah it's great you know when you can experience new places new things and you can do it at a reasonable price you know so i'm quite chuffed for now i will update you guys let you know how things are but yeah guys stay tuned i'm gonna upload this video now um it's gonna be my first video um arriving in barcelona you know just settling in so you know next we're gonna touch the streets and we're gonna show you what's happening man so like the video subscribe share comment all that good stuff rock with me man guys hey I'm planning much bigger travels. Light, light, light. Like right now, yeah. I have to. I'm working with a budget, guys. You know, so I have to keep things relatively cheap. You get me? So, you know, you know, if I experience some growth on the channel, you know, obviously that will, you know, enable me to fund my travels a lot more. So, yo, subscribe to the channel, guys. You know, any like the video you know let's grow the channel together you know and yeah my dream is to go to africa guys africa that's that's what i really want to go you know and when i go there i don't want it to be like a short trip i want to stay there for a long time you know so support the channel like the video comment subscribe yes people yard man abroad yard and abroad more life more flights